Well, Tim Tietrich, you've driven, uh, I think, more horses than anybody, maybe with the exception of Tony Morgan in the last four or five years. Uh, what's the toughest one for you to get around the track? Well, you know, you know, I would say a bad-gated trotter that drew the outside on a small track or any track, you know, the, the ones that uh, you got to be really patient with and careful with, and it's hard to get them in the race, you know, when they're bad-gated and uh, doesn't really have any speed. So they're probably the most difficult for me. Uh, for me, it's definitely pullers. Um, you know, like sometimes you try to trip them out as best as you can. You, um, you know, you want to give them the best, you know, the best shot in, you know, in the race. But when you get one that pulls, it's hard to, you know, get them a second over trip or a two-old trip. So uh, those are, are definitely the one that um, I find it most difficult to drive. What about the horses out there that don't always give 100% themselves a horse? Well, what do you do in that situation? Well, you definitely try to trick them into, into making their work, but I'd definitely take a, a non-trying over a puller any day of the week. Uh, you know, non-triers, you know, I, I usually get along with those a little bit because I'm aggressive and usually I, I can wake one up a little bit, so um, I definitely, uh, I'd like to drive those better. I would have to say the horses that don't try so hard and the horses that are lazy, um, you could only do so much as a driver to get them on the bit and to get them to try to win. Uh, but in the end, sometimes it feels like you want to get off the race bike and run for them because they're just not going anywhere. How about uh, showing guys like that the whip? Does that help at all? You know, sometimes urging helps a little bit, but most of them, uh, if a few whip taps are not going on, it, they're not going to try too hard anyhow. Uh, you know, there's a couple, but I would say the most difficult is a horse that has a big set of eyes, Bob. Why is that? You know, that sees everything on the track, because you have to be very, very careful and, and have him right on a guy's helmet. You know, it makes it hard to, to adjust into a race as far as leaving and coming first over because you always have the thoughts in your, in your head that he's going to see something on the track and jump over something, and that's how things uh, bad things happen on the racetrack. Isn't that what uh, Ron Pierce said about Rainbow Blue a couple years ago? Remember when she uh, actually made a break? They thought it might have been a photographer in the infield. Right, she was seeing stuff, but, uh, you know, she was a great mare, and it obviously didn't affect it that much, but there are some horses that... Uh, you know, you'll see them all covered up with their eyes all closed and chatter rolls all the way up to their eyes, you know. They make it very, very hard for a driver to drive them the right way. Uh, the pullers, obviously, are the toughest because, uh, you know, they want to drag you everywhere and a lot of them, uh, when you sit up on them, they don't go anywhere. So you're saying that you can't fight with a horse out there on a the racetrack because they'll yeah, probably uh, win? Uh, <laughs> yeah, most of the time when you fight with them a lot, they end up not having much go anyhow. Well, a horse that's real grabby, that's hard to keep in a hole, uh, you know, they can give you a problem because sometimes you shouldn't be leaving that you have to leave with them. And one that's really up on the bit is probably the toughest type horse to drive. So a horse is kind of fussy, kind of, kind of, uh, once everything is on way? Yeah, what, one that likes to be a front runner and really isn't a front runner. You know, a horse that likes to be on top, it doesn't have that much gate speed, but it's real grabby out of the gate and it can kind of work its way to the front. He's okay if he's in where he fits, but if he's in a little, you know, with horses good like him, it makes it very hard to drive him because he's so tough to handle. I, I would say the one that, that pulls and, and can't steer. Um, that's, that's a bad combination. Uh, you know, they're just hard to get along with, you know. Uh, you got to have them somewhat relaxed. You got to, you know, it's a fine line of getting them on the bit and being able to control them still. But, uh, you know, there's the ones out there that uh, grab on and they're tough to steer. Those are, uh, those are the ones I don't look forward to. Um, basically, a, a horse that um, isn't very responsive to when you're trying to take one off the gate or trying to get them to relax. I find them very difficult to drive at the Meadowlands because um, you need to kind of be able to rate them and uh, set them in holes when you need to set them in holes and uh, make them do what you want them to do. And also, obviously, if there's a horse that's running in real, real bad and um, he's tough to get in the passing lane, get, get to, in the outside flow because uh, he, he's bearing in so bad, that makes it difficult. I'd rather have one be bearing, bearing out than bearing in. At least you can let them kind of drift to the outside. But when, um, when you got one running in real bad, you know, you, you just got to kind of just kind of take a lot of his pace away, just just keeping him out of the pylons. Well, slow horses are hard to drive because they're hard to have any success with. But I think uh, horses that are unmanageable and unruly in the post parade are aggravating, I think, more than anything. Uh, a lot of them are like that in the post parade. will settle down in the race. And, uh, but if they don't uh, settle in a race and you can't rate them, you can't get the most out of them. I think that uh, makes for the most frustrating horse to drive. Probably a real sore horse with a sore mouth that has no brains um, and bad breeding. What do you do? What do you do to get them guys going? You just you just do the best you can. Um, there's you know you know the hundred different scenarios or a thousand different scenarios a bad horse will can throw at you, and you just you got to just take each one as they come. But uh, horses that are real sore have bad mouths, uh, no brains, um, bad breeding. Um, uh, are, are probably by far the most toughest horses to get around the track.